shadows and reflection. So what happens here is I got this bottle and I made two layers. I put one as a black at 20% ish black and this one white. And what it, that does is allow me to just adjust the black to what I think is nice around the outside edge. Because if I went like this, I could see that outside edge. If I drag it down just a little bit, that outside edge deletes on the bottle. And I still get this nice happy little background. So what I want to do here is drag this up a little bit and then also using command on the keyboard I can click in this area and highlight both the bottle and the label and go edit, copy merge, edit, paste. Okay. Then what I want to do is make a new channel. So if I go into here to channels and channels are floating around here, there we go. I made this alpha, so I'm going to show you how to make this alpha. All you do is make a new layer. Make sure your bottle's highlighted. You can hold command. Click out of the layer. And on the alpha, what I want to do is make an alpha from white to black. So if I go like this. And you're going to have to kind of play with it until you get a happy with the effect so right about here I want it black in this area and I'm gonna hit this button this will use the white as a selection which means I can go to this bottle uh, if I highlight it hide everything and then hit delete you'll see that it cuts it off and if I keep holding or clicking delete it'll gradually fade into it So now what I could do with this bottle is I could put it in back of the other bottle and then I can use the move tool to move it down making a reflection. Okay, And I'm just moving this in this direction right here. Now the one thing is though however I want to do it in such a way that it doesn't warp the image. See how this right here, this would be butted up against this if it was a true reflection. So in order to do that, I could probably use the warp command. And what I want to do is only use these points and only try to move these points along up and straight edge. You want to keep these as straight as possible. Okay. Uh, the reason being, you don't want to take and warp the um, actual label too much. It would be stretched out a little bit, but not not much. Okay, so there we go. And then what you can do is just kind of finite repair it just a little bit, and then send it off into the background by using opacity. So now you got this reflection down below of the cyanide bottle. The last trick I want to show you is the fact that you could take this bottle and use it as a shadow too. If you hold command, click over the top of the bottle, and then go into black, make a new layer, fill it with black. If I wanted to put some kind of uh, shadow behind it, I can use the distort command. So edit transform distort will allow you to distort it back now the shadow wouldn't probably be in the background like this with this shot but that's a quick way to make a shadow on an object and then you just take the opacity down okay there we go and now you have refle reflections reflections and shadows all right enjoy please move on to the next video